Hey guys, your tech admin here, and today we're going to be installing an SSD in my main computer. This is a Samsung 840 Evo, 120 gig. I uh, got this on Amazon for about $90, and to go with it, I've also got this um, Silverstone 3.5 inch to 2.5 inch um, drive converter, so that it'll fit my drive bay. Um, so this is going to be an unboxing of this and an installation. So let's get started. I already cut the uh, tape on the back, so. Right. There she is. A bunch of uh, stuff. Let's look at this first. Um, installation guide. Um, it's like case badges. So that's nice that they include that. Um, warranty information and this would be the driver disk I guess or manual and software it says I'm not quite sure what that's gonna be but forget all that stuff because this is what we're here for Get out of the plastic tree and wow this thing's a lot lighter than I thought it was gonna be I guess I'm so your standard SATA power and data connectors. 120 gig. This thing is really light. Alright, so we'll set that aside. And I'll go ahead and unbox the converter now. Haven't actually opened this one up. So we shall have to cut it. And this isn't going to be anything too interesting. It's just a metal bracket, basically, and some screws. Um, installation guide. I'm going to need that. A little bag of screws, which is nice that they include that. And the bracket itself. So there that is. It's nice heavy gauge metal. So, thumbs up there. I'm going I'm to be interested to see how it fits in my... Um, my quick release drop bays that are in that computer. Uh, it'd be interesting. But this will sit in here like that, I believe. Yeah. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and shut down my machine and we shall get started with the installation. Okay, so now we're going to be installing the drive in the bracket here. Um, I'm assuming it just goes right in like this. It's a bit of a tight fit. Line these up with the screws. Yep, there you go. It's lined up. So now we'll put a screw on the screwdriver and run it through the screw hole there. Just like that. And we can get it to line up having some trouble with it. Not the easiest thing in the world to do. There you go. So just straight in there like that. I figure if we get the diagonals in there first it'll be easy to get the other two. Alright, that was lined up. Alright, so I'll go ahead and pop the other two in and then we'll get to work on taking the other drive out of the computer. Alright, so the battery in my camera died, so now I'm having to record for my cell phone, so it skews the quality. But I got it in the bracket, um, and it fit right in there just like it would a normal drive. So we're going to take and it should fit down in there this way. There we go. And connect up the cables. And that's all there is to it. Go ahead and start the Windows installation now. 
bear with me because I'm kind of pointing the camera at the screen here and I know that's a terrible thing to do but um I just want to say that I, I started the Windows installation and I was amazed it pretty much copied the or skipped the copy part like it went from it went 1 100 and then it immediately done so that was that was pretty amazing to say the least um but it's expanding the files now and that's going faster than usual um but uh yeah that should be done anytime soon and then after that we'll move on to installing Ubuntu while waiting on that, I figured I'd go ahead and uh, attach my little my little badge from my case. So let's go ahead and pull this guy off. I don't know where I want it exactly. Um, I reckon I could put it next to the Quartu Duo emblem. So I'm get it straight. It's crooked. Not the best when it comes to line up stickers. There you go. I need to get a Windows 7 sticker. Because I definitely don't have XP installed on this thing. I got my Ubuntu sticker, but it's looking a little worse for wear. Okay, so it's now a completely different day because I got carried away um, customizing Windows after it installed. But, um,. I've got Windows installed now. I haven't even installed Linux yet. Um, I guess I'm just going to wait and do that at a later time. Um, but for now, I thought I'd go ahead and, as as a bit of closure for this video, I'm going to show a um, uh, a reboot. Uh, so you can see how fast it is. So here we go. And and it's already off. Um, BIOS. And, and as you can see, it cuts off the animation. It boots so fast. It doesn't even let the Windows animation finish. What's really amazing is after I log in, I'm going to start launching a couple applications. Um, and just see how fast they, they launch. Alright, you ready? Go. Alright, I launched three applications, they're all done. That quick. No waiting. That's amazing. Um, stuff just launches instantly. Alright, well, thanks for watching. Um, if you have any questions, leave a comment. I'll be sure to get to them as soon as I can. And, uh, hope you guys had a great Christmas break. Um, until next time, guys.